Well, let's get the students to wait for the class. Just a little bit. Let's see, we're ready. Martha, hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, and you? I'm just Where great here. Ready to start the class. And are you tired? Well, Fridays, um, the problem with me is this, that Fridays I don't feel them like really heavy. Yes, I know. Me too. And tell me, how was your day? Um, very tired, but I happy because it's Friday. It's my favorite day. Oh, really? So I ready for the class. Okay, and tell me, what are the plans for the weekend? Well, uh, I, I will go to the bank and maybe all, all morning, maybe. In the afternoon, um, rest on my house. The sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> Okay, that's nice, that's nice. I mean, it's always good to, to rest, to be able to rest, it's excellent. Yes, charge so battery. <laughs> yeah, so Sunday is like doing nothing for you. I, I will go to the church. To church. To church. And supermarket too. Okay. 
So, do you go to church in the morning or in the afternoon? In the morning. Oh, that's nice. So, you have yes. the rest of the day free. Mm, no more, no more, because uh, the time is, uh, the schedule is uh, 10, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Well, but at least you sleep late. Yes, yes. Yes, I do. You sleep until late. In that, I mean, that's resting. Yes, in the afternoon. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. So, Sunday afternoon is like slow for you. Yes, slow. No much to me. do. No, no much to do. Only rest. Okay, that's excellent. Really excellent. Well, Martha, thank you. Nice talking to you. Well, you're welcome, teacher. Hey, Amber, how are you? Good evening, teacher and guys. I'm fine. What about you? I'm here, just great, ready to start the class. So tell me, how was your day? Well, my day, it was busy. But okay. a good day. Busy, but a good day. Okay, yes. that's cool. What did you do today? Well, um, I am, I am being, I have been working, and then I, I made house chores in my house and. Only that. Oh, you were doing the housework. That's cool. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. And tell me, what are your plans for Sunday? What you gonna do on Sunday? Um, Sunday, maybe I will go to the church. And Good church. Later, yes. And later. I will go Hola. Remember, 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 I don't know which is your faith. So when you tell me, you tell me, I will go to church, not to the church. Because if you tell me to the church, it means that I already know where do you go, which church do you attend. Uh, okay. I will go to church. Okay. okay. So do you maybe go to church in the morning, right? Yes, in the morning, maybe later I will go to supermarket or Dollar City. Okay, oh, that's dangerous. Yes, uh, I need to buy some, some things for my pets. Okay. How do you say arena para gatos? <laughs> Cat and... Cat sand. Cat sand. Sand. S A I N D. Sand. Cat sand. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, well, that's good. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's not here. Somebody else is reporting. Well, that's cool. I mean, it's always good to have something for the for the pet. Pets are important. They, I mean, they become part of the family. Yes, because in in Dollar City, I I can I can to find how many things very cheap. I can find a lot of cheap. A lot of I can cheap. find a lot of cheap stuff for my pet. Ah, okay. What well, What is the difference uh, between stuff and things, teacher? None. There's no difference. Ah, okay. I have some stuff to do. I have some things to do. Ah, okay. Thank you. There's no really, really like a difference for that.
Okay, well, thank you, Amber. Interesting talking to you. And welcome to the class. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see, there's Carla. Hello, Carla, how are you? Hello, teacher. I am tired. Hi. Uh, I, I just arriving home. I am just arriving home. Okay. I having dinner. I am having dinner. Oh, that's I nice. am having dinner. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy. Thank you. Carla, we will talk later. You're Thank welcome. You. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good, e good evening. Um, I'm good very evening. tired. <laughs> really? Why? Tell me because why. Today uh, was a difficult day in the world. Um, I, a lot of sales in the company. Um, but uh, for the company, but a lot of or <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I mean, but that's good for the company. And yes, um, but the operation is staying in El Salvador at four p.m. Uh, yes. at seven p.m. Only two p only two persons and. And the all and the day have eight persons, <laughs> and it's more difficult um, for att attend all the case just in all time. The, all all cases, all cases on time, but salimos con todo. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Don't need that. Okay, and tell me what are the plans for tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I work all the day. Uh, all day long. All day long because my P I finish at 6 p.m. Okay. And maybe I go to the dinner, but I don't know. I, I don't have a plan. You don't have a plan. Uh -huh. hmm. Yes. Hmm. And Sunday? In, in the Sunday, I all the Sunday visit my mother, um, visit my grandmother. Um, yes. And only that because uh, I visit my mother all the Sundays. Uh, every Sunday. Every Sunday. Uh, because in her house I stay my pets. Um, okay. Hold on, hold on. My pets stay. My pet is. My pet is stay at house. At her house. At her house. Um, me hacen falta. No sé cómo decir. Oh, I miss them. And I miss them. <laughs> oh, really? How many pets yes. do you have? Only two. I have uh, two perritos. Two little dogs. Uh, two little dogs. Um, one is a uh, uh, one is a uh, está viejita, no sé cómo decirlo. Oh, one is very old. One is very old, and the other. He's very young. Um, he's a puppy. Puppy. <laughs> it's a puppy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And tell me, how old is, are your puppies? How old uh, are your puppies? How old? Uh, and the puppy have uh, two years. Um, two years old. Uh, two years old, and the other have eleven years old. Is it's are, it are eleven years old? 
Okay, remember, you can say is or you can say are when you're talking about aging. Ah, uh, okay. Just give me a second. It... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, just a, just a minute. Okay, let's see, I'm sorry. Uh, oh my gosh, this camera. So, you like dogs then? Mm. And what breed, what breed are they, did you tell me? Okay, I don't breed? understand. Breed, oh man. Okay. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. The breed. Raza, yes, breed. Ah, eh, a Pomerania, um, y la otra, no sé, no es ninguna, no sé cuál es. I don't, I don't know how the breed for the puppy. Which, which breed? Which breed for the puppy and the other, a uh, Pomerania. The breed, the wish pro is Pomerania. Okay. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Well, thank you very much, Maria. Interesting. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Janita, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, and you? I'm here, just great. Tell me, how's tricks? Oh, was a good day. Um, I'm ready for the class. I'm really happy because it's Friday. Okay. Uh, what are the plans for the weekend? I I have a uh, ocupado. I am busy. A, a busy schedule for tomorrow because okay. I need to wake up at 6 a.m. I'm going to do my old house and go out some furnitures and furniture 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 some furniture and then i need to go to the bed because my little pets need a uh, refers to vaccine what do you Bacin. say vaccine vaccine and okay. and then I need to bring some documents for the documents. Cast, do, documents for the cast, and I need to uh, end the process. And what more? Um, at the at the afternoon, I in the afternoon i try to to go to my friend because need help with with a computer and okay. maybe at night i go to eat with my boyfriend this is for okay. tomorrow <laughs> and sunday maybe i meeting with uh, another friend Okay. And maybe that's it all. Maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay, okay. That's nice. Well, you're going to have a busy schedule. And tell me, when did you actually move to this new house you got? Okay. Uh, I lived, Pasal, lived. Uh -huh. I live at Soyapan, at or in. In. in Soyapango, and now I live in Las Afueras. In the outside, in the outskirts. In the outside of Apopa. Okay, in the outskirts, in this case, outskirts. Outskirts. Yeah. Wow. You know, I have never used that word. I'm sorry? 
I have never used that word. Why? I, mean, I, know, I know it, but it's not something that I use. Uh, well, I don't use, I mean, I have never used that word. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I mean, I have never used it while fishing. Okay. Okay. While fishing, I mean, because it's not a word that comes in a in regular class. It's not formal word. It's formal. It's actually formal. But it's not, uh, how can I explain this? It's not academic, okay? Okay. It's not academic, but it's part of the English and it's formal. Okay. Well, interesting. So you were living in Soyapango. Where is Soyapango? Um, do you know the station of uh, 7D? Yeah, sure. Um, near near to, to the station, in front, is Monte Stres? Monte de San Bartolo yeah, there, Tres? There's Monte Stres, there's, uh, there's uh, Conacaste. Of course, in, in front of the um, basketball, how do you Cor say, Cacha? Courtyard. Courtyard. In front of the basketball courtyard. Okay. Yeah. I grew up in Soyapango. Yo crecí ahí. Ah, okay. Where do you oh. no? How, how do you say in el en pasado? Ah, uh, where did you live? Where, where did you live? By Santos Uno. Ah, okay. I know where is. I mean, I used to walk all that, all around Sayapango, that, but I, it was a long while ago. Hace mucho yeah. tiempo. I used to walk all Sayapango, mostly at night with my friends, you know, kicking it. When was less dangerous? Yeah, it was a little bit less dangerous. Yeah, I mean, you know. it was interesting because some areas like where you used to live, it was like a little bit complex when I was in high school. When I was in high school, it was complex for me walking next to there. Where do you because study? At, uh, at Instituto Tecnico Industrial. Ah, okay. You travel alone. Yeah. Well, nice talking to you, Janira. Thank you, teacher. You, bro you just brought back memory. <laughs> back memory. Trajo recuerdos. Nice. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Okay. Let's see, let's see who else is around. Hey, Wilfredo, hello, my friend, how are you? My teacher. How about you? I'm just great here. Tell me, what are the plans for the weekend? What's you gonna do? Uh, it is going to be very, very busy, teacher. Oh, really? Because, Tell yeah. me why. Um, in our church, I'm a Catholic. We are Catholic. going to Catholic. Catholic. We are going to celebrate Corpus Christi. Oh, really? Yeah, but then tomorrow all day we have to prepare all all things that we are going to use on Sunday morning. Oh, interesting. But, yeah, but and then I, I have to do many, many things in my house. I have to, to go to market. I got to go with my with my son. He's going to play soccer at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Uh, I a.m. Yeah. Okay. He's playing. He's He's playing in the, how do you say? Uh, you are going to, uh, do, you like to, to hear this, this team. Uh, oh, really? How That's do you say? Cool. That's cool. That's <laughs> cool. Interesting. So that means that you are going to yeah, really be but... busy on Sunday. You are really going to be yeah, busy. But, but, realmente está muy ocupado. 
What about Sunday afternoon? What you yeah. gonna do? You are going to go to the market. What else? I I need to to go food for the house, and okay. But in the in Sunday in, in afternoon, I we are going to maybe. We are going to go to a trip because oh, really? my wife told me that hey, we need to to go out Santana. And then I I want to go. Okay, to, that's to a cool. trip with uh, as a family. As a family. My okay, my children like nice. to go to Malecon. And maybe in the afternoon we, we are going to go. Malecon, La Libertad. La Libertad. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's long for you. Yeah, it is good. I like to go to it there. Yeah, but it's a it's a long trip. Es un viaje largo. Yeah, I like to go uh, La Libertad and yeah. go, go around all the the Littoral. The costa. Littoral? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the um Kilo cinco, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I was telling your classmates the other day that last Saturday I took it this way. I took it from here. I went to La Libertad, from there to Sunsal, from Sunsal to Kilo cinco, from Kilo cinco to, uh, let's see, Sonsacate, from there to Los Naranjos. From Los Naranjos to Santana and then back to San Salvador. Great, great trip, teacher. I like to go there because in the afternoon when we arrive at Los Naranjos, I like to, to drink a cup of coffee with my family. Yeah, we go yeah. to Santana. We return Santana. Well, that's cool. Excellent. Nice talking to you, Wilfredo. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Okay, guys, before I continue, I need to get attendance. So let me see. I'm so sorry. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Just a second. Okay. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Okay. And Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián. Here. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Elvia. Present teacher. Thank you. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Mr. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Calleja. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Sanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Ros eh, Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. 
Okay, let's see. Let's continue talking. Let's see, let's see who else is here. Fernando, hello, Fernando. What about you, my friend? What are the plans for the weekend? Uh, now I'm, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Just some minutes ago, I, I finished my, my work week. And okay. I'm tired and sleepy and hungry. Okay, and this weekend, what are you going to do? This weekend, uh, tomorrow I have a baby shower. Oh, really? Yeah. You have, uh, you have a what? A baby shower. Okay. Or baby party. No. I don't know. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, I know what it is. I know what it is. But you have... <laughs> I, uh, you have to say it like this. I am attending a baby shower. I am attending a and baby shower. I am attending. Attending is the assistant. Yes. Okay, I am attending a baby shower tomorrow. And, oh, really? And Sunday, I am attending a, a birthday party. Okay, you know, I used to attend that, that type of parties just when I was at the university. But when I was at the university, you know, those parties were a little bit different. Cuando estaba en la universidad iba eso, pero eran un poquito distintos. Let's say that. Okay. So the, the, the baby showers were something else besides baby showers. Okay. Okay. Perfect, uh, okay. And so. So también. you're going to a, to a birthday party and tell me whose birthday? Uh, my brother in law. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So it's going to be a family gathering. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so also. Uh, the virus, <laughs> also by the virus. It's, oh yeah, because, because, because. No, because, because the virus, um, the party is, it's small. Yes. Yeah, it's a uh, um, food, uh, comida, un almuerzo. Lunch. It's a lunch with, with, uh, with our family. 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 Oh, yeah. that's nice, that's nice. I mean, it's always and, good. And tomorrow, the baby shower is only my my teamwork. Oh, really? Yeah, we are a a person only. Oh, so it's a co-worker, the one who's yeah who's pregnant. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Besides that, I have uh, I will go to the supermarket. Uh, teacher is, I will go or I going to? It depends. Tomorrow. It actually tomorrow depends. At, tomorrow oh. at night. Okay. I'm going to the supermarket. Okay. Tomorrow at night, I'm going to the supermarket because I going, I going to the supermarket every, every weekend, every other weekend. Okay. And this weekend, it's time to go. Okay. And other other things, I I will see. <laughs> Some other things. Okay. Now, you use the the be going to when you are talking about uh, something that is going to be soon. But when in this case that you are telling me about the supermarket, in this case is I am I am going to the supermarket. Okay, it's not I am going to go to the supermarket. You say I am going to the supermarket because you are talking about a plan, right? Okay. Plan. You use present continuous for future. Okay. Okay, I get it. And when you use be going to, 
if I say, oh, I am going to go to the supermarket, that's uh, an immediate future. Es un futuro inmediato. Okay. Uh, okay. I am going to go. It's now. Right now. Not in this situation. Okay. Now, if you are talking about uh, the situation is this. If you say, uh, if you are talking about um, a promise, a prediction about something, you use will. If you're talking about a plan, you use I am going, the present continuous for future. If you're talking about an immediate future, you use be going to. Okay. Okay. So those are three different types of future. Okay. That's all. I talk, nice talking to you, Fernando. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Rita, hello. Oh, no, 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 I remember, yeah. Don't worry, Rita, it's not with you. Roxana, hello, Roxana. You're hidden today. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm just great. Here, uh, watching that, all of you are smiling today. Oh, the bell sonrisa hoy. In my case, uh, I was hiding because my son actually is run around the living room with the cat. Oh. So I have okay. a lot of noise and I try to. Yeah, you know, uh, a stone, una piedra, things like that help. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> So, so, yeah, you know, I love kids. A mí me encantan los niños. Oh, my Pero neighbor's lejos. house. Yes, very <laughs> far away. Yeah. But, but, no, but no your kids. <laughs> actually, actually, today I have a, I had a disagreement with a co-worker because he wanted me to take care of his course. Eh, un compañero quería que yo le cuidase su, su grupo. But his course are kids between seven and eight years old. In years. And I said, no, <laughs> absolutely no, no way, Jose. I mean, that's not for me. I understand little kids, you. Little kids like that. Imagine dealing with 20 of those. Minus 20 of them together in the same place. I mean, that's ah. Uh, My son have a remote remote um, class in the morning, and I work next to him. So I heard all morning, all, all days, um, todos sus compañeros, every all every his classmates. All. all, all uh, his classmates, and maybe sometimes uh, I was like um, so stressed because uh, I think that there are 30, 35 kids and the teachers. So sometimes the, the teacher is talking aloud. Como fuerte? Loud, loud. Speaking loud. loud. Okay, look. In that case, you are saying that the person is speaking out loud. Hablando fuerte. Speaking out loud. Speaking out, out loud. 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 So, it's stress in the morning. In the afternoon, Maybe it's kicking. Yeah. Sometimes because um, some days uh, he's he he's uh, playing with the cat in the same in the same place. So maybe I have uh, meetings or uh, calls and I can't uh, concentrate all the time about that but it's yeah you know i got a it's my day <laughs> i got a rope it could, it could be helpful 
if you want, I can lend it to you. I got a, uh, okay, hold on. Just give me a second. This one picking out low. And now I tell you that I got a rope. If you want me, I can lend it to you. Rope, what is the meaning for rope? Rope, hold on. I got one little one here. I got a rope. I got a big one. Cuerda? Cuerda. Yeah. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> That helps. Sometimes I use the I I love them. I I use the belt. Okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's the same. I know. Yeah, sandals also help a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, dealing with little kids uh, on a daily basis is is difficult. Yeah. I mean, in my in my case, I work with kids. Yo trabajo con niños, but it took time for me to get used to them. Me llevó tiempo acostumbrarme. Because I started working with adults. I mean, I started teaching at the university. Mm -hmm. um, so when different. I was, yeah, when I was 20. So, I mean, I was teaching groups of uh, 60, 70 adults. And I mean, I was cool. For me, it was cool. Then I started working with teenagers. Teenagers are nice. I mean, it's okay. Acceptable. I think that kids are um, but, impatient. Yeah, but uh, like uh, seven years ago, I started working with also with kids. Man, but... <laughs> you love the passion. Yeah, you gotta be a. You gotta be very very but patient. You look like. Um, uh, maybe with a lot of passion. So. Oh, okay. Look at this. This is me when I see kids. <laughs> That's my normal face when I get to see, to work with kids. And when I'm working with kids, this is me smiling. Imagine if you are oh. teaching mathematics. Oh no, I got a problem with math. I understand math. Yo entiendo matemática. But I mean, the situation with teaching is this, Roxana. You can understand something, but it's not the same to explain that something. Yeah. And that's the problem with teaching. Besides that, uh, I specialize in English. So I was teaching for a long while methodology, techniques for teaching English, but the techniques for teaching math are a whole different story. It's like, uh, it's like my wife. My wife is an English teacher, but she loves working with little kids. I mean, she has even worked with first grade, and for me, first grade, I will never take it. <laughs> I mean, that's to teach how to read and write. That's special. That's a whole different story. So when you talk about this, this, I mean, it requires different skills. Requiere habilidades distintas. Yes. In my yeah, case, but... the, last, uh, the last year is, was so difficult because uh, I was the teach all the I time. Was the teacher. I Every was the teacher. I was a teacher in all the um, uh, materials. No. Subjects. 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 And it was very, very difficult because for me it's easy all the, uh, all the stuff he sees. Yeah, yeah, it's easy, but you say uh, you need to um, learn explain. about the explain. Yeah, so learn how to explain. Yes, learn how to explain. So I, I, I am not a teacher. <laughs> So yeah, right yeah, now yeah. it's the same, but less. Okay, so that means that uh, that means that you are. What you mean is this? <laughs> okay, look at this expression. I am getting the hang of it. 
What is the meaning for that? Estoy entendiendo o aprendiendo cómo se hace. O lo estoy comprendiendo. Okay. Actually, no. Hang. I try. Yeah, but you're getting the hang of it. I mean, it, if it's less difficult, it's because you are getting the hang of it. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Nice talking to you, Roxana. Nice. Hey, let's see who else is around. Hey, Carlos. Hello, mister. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. Tell me, when you going back to your town? Yes. Tomorrow I I go to the to Guayua. Maybe in the afternoon because in the morning my daughter is a uh, English class too and I we we have to wait for her. Yes. yes. Um we, we we in the afternoon we, we have um parents so you will you will pick her you will pick her up you will pick her up yes yes i i go and then we have to go to the for you okay okay and tell me what are the plans for sunday what you gonna do on sunday okay my, my wife then she she can go to the beach and maybe we have we we go to the i will go to los cobanos and oh that's nice yes yes uh, I, uh, maybe we we go, we'll go. Uh, i i my my daughter is is, in, is not comfortable to visit the beach in this moment but maybe we have to we are go okay okay so los cobanos yeah it's a nice beach i mean it's a good place it's a nice place yes. i like it yeah i like it yeah but ah uh, man I mean, going to the beach at this time, the only problem is that it's hot. It's terribly hot. The good thing for you is that you go back to Huayua where it's fresh. Yes, I mean, yes, and that more... helps. <laughs> and the trip is more, it's more. For me, it's more. How do you say cerca, teacher? It's more closer, closer. Closer. Okay. Closer. When I when I drive to, to Huayua to Los Cobanos, from Huayua to Los Cobanos, it's more lo, closer. Yes. Okay. okay, guys. I will make a pause. I need to explain something. I need to explain something. Okay. okay, let's see. Look guys, we have something that is called adjectives, right? Adjectives are the words that we use to, to describe something, okay? To describe a noun. So adjectives, we say that uh, they describe a noun, okay? That's the function of adjectives, to describe a noun. Now, adjectives can be uh, adjectives. They you can use them for making comparisons. Okay, so you make a comparison. Comparison of uh, inferiority. Okay, you can also make a comparison. of equity and you can also make a comparison of superiority right now when we talk about comparisons 
of superiority. What do we mean? ¿Qué queremos decir? What we mean is this. Uh, okay. In this case, when you make comparisons of superiority, what you mean is más que. Okay. So in this case, he was saying más cerca. Now, there are some rules. What are the rules? The rules are as follow. Okay. Look. Uh, the first rule says add ER to the adjective. You add ER to the adjective. Okay. That's the first rule. What do I mean like this? Oh, it's very simple. When I say add ER to the adjective, it's like close. We get closer, you see? We get tall, we get taller, right? That's the first rule. Add ER to the adjective, like this. Now, the second rule says, the next rule says like this, okay, uh, um, Sorry, my bad. Then the second rule says, write more, uh, oops, my bad. more before the adjective. Okay, we add more, we write the word more before the adjective. When does it happen? Cuando sucede esto? Oh. This happens when we get adjectives like this, look, like, uh, like intelligent. We get more intelligent. Okay. You see, intelligent, more intelligent. Uh, mm, mm. Uh, in this case, we it's because the adjective is a long adjective. In este caso, porque el adjetivo es largo, more than two syllables. Okay. So, in the case of what you were telling me, Carlos, close, closer, tall, taller. In this case, if the adjective is long, more than two syllables. Then you place more before the adjective. Okay. So remember, this is a comparison of superiority. Then, if in the case of the adjective ending, okay, adjective ending in Y preceded by a consonant. Look what happens. ¿Qué es lo que sucede? Oh, what happens is this. Look, we got pretty. Mm -hmm. It becomes prettier. Mm -hmm. Okay. We get rid of the Y and instead we write I E R. Okay. And then you have exceptions. Okay. What are the exceptions? The exceptions are like this. Exceptions. Okay. The exceptions are uh, big. You got bigger, okay, far, you got farther, okay, uh, good, in the case of good, you got better, in the case of bad, you got worse. Why? In the case of good, bueno, 
mejor. Bad, malo, worse, peor. Okay. And this is about comparatives. Okay. Is it clear now? Si me expliqué. Hey guys. Yes, teacher. Yes, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let me get a, 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 a screenshot of this. Yeah. Let's see. Thanks. Okay, I send it to you guys in the group. Okay. I'm sorry guys, but it, it's always good to explain these little, little topics. I know that you're going to see it. Oh, something that I forgot is that if you are making the comparisons between two stuff, I will put some stuff for history. If you are making the comparison between two different things, remember that you use uh, then. When talking about comparisons, we use then and it means que. What do I mean like que? It means like, uh, like I say, uh, uh, mm, mm. like I say, oh, Carlos is taller than me. Okay. In English, que, you got three different versions. For questions, what? Okay. What? What is your name? What are you doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? Okay. That's in a question. In an affirmative. Okay. Actually, this was not the topic that realmente este no era el tema que I was going to explain. Que yo iba a explicar. You see? You use that. T-H-A-T. When making comparison. Oh, Roxana is uh, uh, a happier person than me. Una persona más alegre. Que yo. So those are the three differences you got in English when you are talking about the word que. Any question? Preguntas? No? Gotcha. Let me see. Have you, have you seen this topic? Ya habían visto este tema? No, right? No, I think no. you're going to see it in intermediate, but it's better if you get the idea clear now. Es mejor si llevan ya la idea un poquito adelantada. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I moved to that. Oh, by the way, now that I remember, ahora que recuerdo las cosas que debo hacer y las que no. Eh, perdón, voy a hacer un comercial en español. Eh, les mandaron correos. Me dijeron que les mandaron correos a recursos humanos de las empresas relacionados con inscripción para el próximo módulo, ¿verdad? Y les... Mandaron mensaje WhatsApp. Ah, ok, perfecto. Este, y les mandaron también ¿no? un mensajito donde les pusieron, es que los correos creo que los mandan directamente a Recursos Humanos. Sí, los envían ahí y, bueno, en mi caso me lo copian. Me lo copian okay. eh, también. Perfecto. Y les mandaron un mensajito donde ustedes van a poner todas las cosas buenas acerca de mí, ¿verdad? Y las malas también. Ok. Creo que también va la evaluación para el docente y para eh, los chicos de soporte. ¿Ok? Entonces, la evaluación está para docentes y chicos de soporte, esa la pueden realizar ya si quieren. No hay problema. Este, porque recuérdense que al final del curso hacemos la, 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 la evaluación que nos pide INSACO, mientras que esta que les han mandado es la interna. ¿Ok? Perfect. Eh, let's continue. Let's see. Who else do I have? Hey, Sylvia, how are you? Sylvia. I think Sylvia is not here. Linda, what about you? You home already? These kids are not here. Well, let's see. Who else is around? Now, let me explain something to you. Today, uh, for those who are wondering, para que estos están preguntando, because perhaps one or two of you weren't in my class last week, 
quizás algunos no estuvieron en la clase el viernes pasado. And ah, that's why I'm explaining also in Spanish so it's clear. Por eso lo explico también en español para que esté claro. Eh, do you remember that I told you that there was, there was going to be one day when we were going to speak a lot, right? That we were going to talk more. Today is that day. Today is the day that we make the, the, the review of vocabulary. Actually, the, the, how do you call it? Uh, the session, the session is called review. The number of session in my lesson plan is review because that's what we are going to do to make a general review of the unit two. But also, as I told you before, I need to listen to you talking. Oh, now I remember. Walter, I'm so sorry, my friend. You were in the corner right here, so I couldn't see you. And Walter, does, Walter doesn't move. Walter no se me mueve. He's like, he's like, perhaps the teacher doesn't see me. Dice, quizás si no me muevo, no me mira. Hey, Walter, how are you doing? You're doing better? I remember you were sick. How do you feel? Yeah, uh, a little better teacher. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes. A little better. Uh, how many words? How many words in my house? Oh, you've planet? been working. You've been working in the house. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, and the weekends. Oh, and <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'm. In my office, and okay. Sunday, and Sunday to work in uh, my house. Uh, and there is time, and the will sometimes, and the moment you have to work. Okay, uh, so that yes. that means that uh, uh, there's no rest actually. Okay. No hay, eh, eh, no hay descanso realmente. Excuse me, teacher. There's no rest. No hay descanso realmente. Ah, yeah, yes. Uh, and the other the weekends, uh, I'll rest a little, a little more. Okay. <laughs> well, so, for the moment, if the if the working in my house. Uh, uh, Oh. Mucho trabajo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, but you don't have to stay up until the wee hours of the night. Oh, you don't know that expression. I'm sorry. Perdón, ustedes no conocen esta expresión. Okay. I am asking you, le pregunto, if you have to stay up, si tiene que quedarse a night, until the, the wee hours of the night. The wee hours of the night. That the expression wee. means las, eso significa hasta altas horas de la noche. Okay. That's the yeah. meaning of the wee hours of the night. Do you have to, to work until the wee hours of the night? Do you have to work no, until no, late? Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. And then, and only, only day. Only during the day. Okay, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. So at least you can rest. A menos puede descansar. Oh, yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Walter. You're welcome, teacher. Fausto, what about you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And tell me. What are the plans for the weekend? What you gonna do, my friend? Um, for tomorrow, uh, I'm working. Uh, oh. Only only a full day or just half day? Uh, what? Excuse me. Excuse me. The full schedule or just half the day? Half today. Oh, just half. That's cool. Yes, teacher. That's nice. That's nice. And what about Sunday? What are you going to do on Sunday? 
uh, uh, I'm going to it. Really? Where you going yes. to go? ¿A dónde va? Uh, <laughs> a galería. Okay. Uh, any restaurant specifically? Uh, yes, uh, Sokola restaurant. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So you like Mexican food? Yes. The same as Roxana. Excellent. That's good. It's always good to have to have that kind of fun. Nice, nice, nice. And tell me, what time do you usually get back? Hold on just a second. I'm sorry. Uh, what time do you get home when you go out on a Sunday? Um, I go... Uh, What time do you usually get home? ¿A qué hora regresa? When you go out on a Sunday. More or less um, at five. Oh, yeah, early, after. very early. Yes. That, that's early, man, at five. And if I go out, I come back home around midnight. So yo salgo <laughs> <a> medianoche. <laughs> That's if I come early. That's when I come early. I mean, it doesn't matter for me that I need to go to work the next day. I have to come back until midnight or later. I mean, and if it's, if it's from Friday to Saturday or from Saturday to Sunday, I come back home around 2 or 3 a.m. Come on, Fausto, you're young. Excellent teacher. Uh, in my case, no. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> terrible. You're single, right? Uh, I have a girlfriend. Okay, you're single. That's single, man. <laughs> okay. Man, when I was single, uh, when I was living with my parents, my wife used to call my mom around 1 a.m. to ask if I was home already. And sometimes I didn't. Mom, Fausto, your job, my friend. Well, nice, Fausto, nice. It's good that you go home. You are a responsible person. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, guys. By the way, I was checking some, some of you sent me the activity. Some of you have not sent it yet. No todos han enviado la actividad. Just some of you. I actually got just six activities sent. Solo tengo seis. So please, if you have it, send it later. Si la tienen por ahí, me la envío luego. By the way, Today, also, we are going to make a small review before we finish the class about the midterm because the midterm was due today. The midterm realmente estaba para ahora. And I was checking the system and some of you, let me check it out. Let me check it out. Let me ver. Some of you, that means like, most of you, quiere decir casi todos ustedes, are missing the midterm, guys. And also section two. And I need it like for today because tomorrow morning they check it. Mañana por la mañana me revisan el cuadro. And I got, uh, yes, almost everybody is, I just got complete. I just got, uh, let's see, one. Perhaps two, three, and let me check the second page. I will tell you right now. Four, just four of you, solo tengo cuatro, who have done a homework a section one complete, section two complete, and midterm. 
The rest of you haven't, and that's for tonight. So, hurry up. I can, I can, uh, I can wait for you until tomorrow noon. Uh, but please, if you do it tomorrow, let me know. And if you finish it tomorrow, let me know when you do it so I can update. Así yo actualizo la tabla. Okay? Yes, uh, Maria? In the exam, or I the have midterm. the midterm, I have. Um, I, es el mismo problema que se había resuelto en la anterior. No, my dear. It's a different situation. It's a different. Yes, it's different. The situation is this, and I will. Uh, let's see. Who did I tell you? I think I mentioned it. See, Janira, right? Yes. We fix it, right, right, Janira? La arreglamos, yes. ¿verdad? Yes. No, okay. but in the middle exam. Yeah. Yes, yes. No, I'm talking about today. Hablo de que ahora lo hablé con ella. Yes, it's, di it's different. It's different. Okay, in this case, Maria Alejandra, you are talking about section three. Yes. In section three, what you are going to do is identify where is the mistake and write what is the correct. So like it appears offices, right? In one sentence. Your answer must be office. Solo la palabrita del error. Si es el verbo, okay? Okay. That's But... the only thing you have to do, okay? okay. Thank you. No, and it's always good. Thank you, Janira, that you tell me before. So, I mean, I check it out and we find out if it's a mistake in the platform or if it's something that that perhaps is not quite clear. I don't know, maybe, maybe the instruction, the instruction is the one confused. Yeah. The instruction is the one that is not clear. Yeah, and I did that observation already. Yeah, it's an observation, so perhaps they can, okay. they can Thank improve you. it. No, no, thanks to you guys. It's always good whenever you let me know about those little things. The problem is that usually I just check the platform as a, as a teacher, and as a teacher, I just see the answer. I mean, I don't actually do the exercise. So it's different from my situation, but it's good that you let me know. Okay. Any other teacher. questions? Yes? Teacher, repeat. The part three, the exam, I don't understand. Um, I no, no lo pude hacer. Okay, okay. Let me check just something, Miss uh, uh, Rita. Solo de un instante a revisar algo, Rita. Let's see on my sheet. Let's see, let's see, let's see. In that case, Rita, what you got to do is this um, so it's the fourth, right? Oh man. In that case, Rita, what you gotta do is just an espacio grande, but you just are just going to write one word. Pero solamente va a escribir una palabra. Okay. And that word that you are going to write is the correction. Y lo que va a escribir ahí es la corrección. Okay. Okay. Okay, Thanks. before we continue, guys, I need to get the attendance again. I'm sorry. Amber Elia Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Subrián. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Pausa Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Calleja. Present. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Present. Romero. Thank you, Linda. Present teacher. Sorry. Maria Alejandra. Teacher. Thank you. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. 
Marta Patricia Díaz González, Rita Beatriz Cabrero Desea, Roxana Ivette Asencio de Mejía, Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda, Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo, Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera, Present, teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asencio García. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Ok. Present teacher, I'm sorry. My Thank handset you. was unplugged. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was worried. Yes, mister. Teacher. Uh, yes, I'm here, teacher. Yes, I got your name. Don't worry. Okay, le puse uh, but, uh, Don't worry. Okay, teacher. I imagine that you're on your way to your work, right? Yes, right now, teacher. I am going to my my job. Okay, cool. That's cool. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> Let's continue. Okay, today we are going to analyze a text. Okay, this is a whole different enchilada. Okay, because what we are going to do is something a little bit different. We are going to read. The exercise is about reading comprehension. Okay, we're going to read and try to understand. So we are going to do it like this. First, I am going to read it for you so you can get the pronunciation. Then we are going to try to get the, the hang of the vocabulary. And then I will ask you for the answers of the questions that appear below. We are talking about in the manual, if you got your manual handy in page number 27. Page 27 from your manuals, okay? Let me share uh, with you, but I need to make it bigger. Okay. Okay, where is it right here? There we go. Okay, this article is about giving instructions to staff. And then you are going to check true or false for the items below. Okay. Don't assume they know what you mean. Don't assume they know what you mean. Okay, let's see. Okay, do you know what they say? That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. With, with, more, with most people in your office or business will, I mean, why? Oh, I hate that word, I'm sorry. Oh, you stop laughing. Most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on they are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different department or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle. Dripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Whilst you don't want to rumble on in your set of instructions, that will be a waste of your time and to be honest, they will switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bother it up and will rather get straight to the point on what needs to be action or delivered, rather than making the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse. Give time frames. 
Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadline. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleague. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who, will ha who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Number four, give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instruction and help form a clearer picture of what is you mean and why. Okay, guys, what are we going to do? Oh, interesting vocabulary, no? Interesante vocabulary, right? Okay. Yes, yes, teacher. But don't worry, don't worry, Carlos. You guys are going to explain those paragraphs to me. Ustedes me lo van a explicar. I didn't understand a thing. Yo no entendí nada. So you are going to explain to me. Yes, Roxana, you are going to explain the paragraph. Me va a explicar el paragraph. And you go like, what? Okay, we are going to work like this. I will divide you in four big groups. Lo voy a dividir en cuatro grupos grandes. I'll give you 10 minutes for you to prepare. What are you going to do? Read. First, you read. Get just vocabulary. Please don't use translator. No me use el traductor. No me copy pegue todo el paso. Get just words, vocabulary. Words that you have never seen. Palabras que nunca visto. Not that you do not remember because those are two different things. Hay palabras que ya hemos visto pero que no nos acordamos. That's a whole different story. Just words that are new for you. But I want you to try it as a group to get the, the idea from the context. Quiero que tomemos la idea del contexto. I'm not interested in a word by word translation. I am interested in you understanding what the paragraph is about. Get your vocabulary. I will be passing on, checking out how the groups are working, okay? So, you are going to be working in groups of four members. Please, uh, let's jump in. Guys, you got you got a uh, section number one. I'm sorry, you got section number one only. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. 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 Hey guys, I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. You got just section number two. Okay. Just okay, number teacher. two. Okay. Section number two. Hello guys, okay. you just have, in your case for you, it's just number three. Solo es la número tres para ustedes, okay? Number three. Okay. Ah, okay. Just number three. Do not confuse material in no begin. Review. I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I forgot telling you something. In your case, it's just number four is for you. Just number okay. four, solo la número cuatro, okay? Not the whole okay. thing. Okay, thank you. Okay. Excellent. Okay. No sé, friends, no sé qué. Y puedes dar ejemplos, por ejemplo, pero entonces we have to explain the we, we are understand in this paragraph. We have to explain to teacher. Is it okay, teacher? Yep. That's what you're gonna do. Read it, discuss it, analyze it, and tell me. 
What is it about? Oh, guys, you listen me? Yes, we listen. By the way, just remember that uh, in the second line, in the second line, after the period, después del punto, it says whist. Uh, ahí le falta una L. Tiene que decir whilst. W-H-I-L-S-T Wilds and it means mientras que okay Wilds means mientras que Mente prefiero. I do prefer the water, you see. Wild, mientras que. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, teacher, waffles is colloquial yeah. or something. Okay, look. You love a waffle, right? Uh, you know what is a waffle? It's the food. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. A sweet, a sweet oh, okay. tortilla. Yeah. yeah, it's like a pasta. That's right? Okay. That's a waffle. Now, when you you can waffle when you speak, if you start when you start to rumble on. What is to rumble on? Oh, you talk about one topic, then another, then another, but you don't get to the point. And remember that when you are in a meeting, if somebody starts like that, talking about different stuff and never getting to the point, you get like and the idea doesn't come through. So when you start rambling on, you waffle, okay? It's a, ¿cómo se llama esto? It's a modism, it's a modism, okay? Everyone loves waffles. Yeah, everyone loves waffles. Well, mostly, most of the people loves waffles. Mucha gente le gusta. Okay. But you don't like to, you don't want people to waffle when they speak, okay? So waffle has two meanings. One is to the, the past, the, the food? food, and the other one is to uh, divagar. Okay, like a rumble. Yeah, rumble on. Okay. <clears throat> or is let's see give time frames yours is give time frames yeah right I can hear you feel well teacher yours is to give time frames oh remember that's very important to give time frames I mean you said you said time specifically for for an activity, you assign a specific amount of time for an activity to be performed, okay? Like this activity, oh, you got 10 minutes to prepare. Okay. That way, that way you can do your best to make it on time. And the same happens when you're working. If they don't tell you this is for today or this is for tomorrow, you never do it. Si no nos dicen esto es para hoy o para mañana, specifically, nunca lo hacemos, right? Yeah. I mean, we postpone it. Yes. Something like that is what you're going to explain. Look, read again what you got there. Mm. 
make sure you give example. This will be a specification beneficial if the- Especially if, beneficial. Especially benef beneficial. Yep. Uh, if they are new to role, to the role, or yes. if they haven't carried out the task before, this will to help. Carry, to carry out the task before means que nunca han hecho la actividad antes. Okay. Have you, have you noticed that sometimes when I got an, a new activity for you, I always make an example with one of the classmates. And then I send you to working group. Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. That's exactly what it's saying there. But you need to set to give examples so people can understand clearly what they are supposed to do. Okay. Yes, that's the better way to, to learn something or to explain something. Yes, with example. Yes, I, I see Hi. I lost my connection. Okay. Okay. Ready, guys? Yes, teacher. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and Rita goes like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. I that you, when you give an instruction or read an email, I think so. An email. Read an email. Yes. Read an email. Teacher, we speak, we talk about this paragraph. It's not easy to understand, but we try to understand. Okay, now make it simple for me. Haganlo simple para mí. How would you explain it to me? Okay. Uh, I say that. Uh, some people take uh, a lot of way for say something, but if you take a note or make a list or has a speech, can you explain more clear? Clearly, more clearly, more clearly. More clear, clearly. Yeah. Okay. Now, and remember, you need you need to dump it down for me. What does mean? Don't be down. Hmm. Don't be como tonto. Okay. Um, so you need to don't be down for me. Make it simpler for me. It's too complex. I don't understand. Make it simple so I can understand it. Okay. Okay. And I will choose who's going to explain to me. Okay, teacher. Okay. You ready? No. no. <laughs> okay, let's see, guys. Are you going to be gentlemen and let one of the girls to represent the group? Van a ser caballeros y dejar que una de las chicas represente el grupo. No. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Walter says he's always a gentleman. Walter dice que él siempre es un caballero. So okay. one of the ladies is going to explain. She's the ladies teacher. Okay, ladies first, ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> okay. If Fausto agrees totally, he says. If Fausto está completamente de acuerdo. So, ladies, it's between Elvia and, and Maria. I try. Teacher. 
Ready? Uh, I think so. But yes. Okay, cool. Let me go check on the other groups then. Before when you give the instruction, mm -hmm. make a list and read for be clear and don't be confuse clear. to another. I'm sorry, to, to be clear. To be clear. And, and not confuse. And not confuse to the everyone. rest of the people. The, the rest, rest of, of the people. The rest of the people. Hey, Janira, uh, hey, today you stay with me 10 minutes after the class, please. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, too. Okay, okay. we're going back. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Uh, I'm sorry, Roxana and Janira, but me dijeron ellos que van a ser caballeros y que una de las chicas va a pasar a repetir. <laughs> Yeah, right. Okay. Wilfredo told me, lay this first all the time. Wilfredo me dijo, this, this is no problem, teacher. I'm agreeing. Oh, okay, when, <laughs> when, when I when I meet in, in a person and you and everyone go to eat, they pay the bills because they are uh, gentlemen. Yeah, we are, we are <laughs> gentlemen. gentlemen. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. We're just waiting for everybody to come back so we can start with the little explanation, okay? Okay, let's see. Okay, we are here, right? Number one, I repeat. Don't assume, don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say, that assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Whilst most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on, they are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instruction is do not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Wild means the same as wild. Esta palabra significa lo mismo que wild, W-H-I-L-E. The only difference is that this is British and while is American. Okay, in group number one, there was Carlos Murillo and Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. Just the two of you. So Carlos, tell me, what is this about, please? Explain okay. to me. Okay, the first part, uh... Uh, give 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 not give us um uh, occasion about when we uh, give an instructions we don't assume assumptions with the other persons are no uh, no we have to want to say uh, because they don't read the mind or read our mind and um, it's important we we are um don't we don't be full uh, thinking about the persons now with uh, what I with what we can explain um, but if we are maybe we don't 
says any um, the, this this uh, this problem uh, assumptions this uh, model of the all all mistakes the the more the more mistakes in work for example in my in my work we use a lot of uh, acronyms and when we read uh, policies and read uh, uh, instructions we usually found uh, many acronyms and if the and other people think we know the acronyms uh, they don't uh, the, 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 the message or the is not is not very understandable entendible yes yes teacher okay that. perfect thank you well done well done let's see number two Roxana that's because you put me the monkey face why I will put okay. Okay, be clear and specific, Roxana. Clear. Uh, we think that um, people um, can be clear and specific uh, when give the instructions and read to be clear and not confuse the rest of the people. Maybe when you are uh, prefer some information and for your work, for example, in the email, people uh, don't uh, focus. That, uh, people don't uh, focus in the um, uh, topic and maybe there are a um, rumble on in some topics. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Number three, let's see. Number three, there was Elvia, Fausto, Maria, and Walter. Maria. Number three. I'm okay. sorry, Maria. Walter told me that you uh. wanted to. <laughs> si no, voy yo, teacher. Si no, voy yo. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Uh, I understand in the paragraph, say, uh, in the companies or in in the companies or boss, as uh, in uh, or many Employers or maybe maybe uh, maybe employers and and the people confuse or not if in the deadlines and uh, when your people don't uh, don't give in the deadlines uh, the company have uh, problems or implications uh, for different employers or for the others staff or or maybe like okay. <coughs> what is what matters here is that you need to have clear time frames yes. you need a specific moment for when something needs to be done perfect and now number four give examples let's see there's sylvia martha carla and ambar okay let's see ambar explain to me well uh, in the part of our, i am understand is is so important for the new people in a company for example uh, you, uh, sorry, then boss, uh, give, give them a good example because it's a reference for them and 
I think that, how do you say, facilitar el trabajo más entendible? Facilitate, facilitate. Facilitate uh, the work and is more comprehensive, more Compre comprehensive. Comprehensive. Yes. Perhaps this idea. It makes the job easier, right? Yes, yes. Because in okay. mm, good example, I think that is um and a reference uh, that how must be my job in in my development or my bueno, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. I get you, I get you. Don't worry, don't worry. It was clear. It was understandable. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Let's continue. We have more to cover today. Well done, actually. Muy bien hecho. Let's see, let's continue. Okay. Now, Wilfredo, number one says, according to the article, it is fine to make assumptions true or false. Is it okay to make assumptions? According to the article, it is fine to make. No, it is false. False. Never, never we never we make, make assumptions. A supposition. Okay. We are uh, we have to give all direction or instruction very, very clear. Okay. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Silvia, number two, it is important to go straight to the point to be clear. And uh, that is false? true. Can you tell me why? Why do you think it is true? Uh, because we don't have to use many words. Uh, we have to be clear and go to the point. Okay, yeah, we don't need to ramble, right? Now, let's see. Uh, yes. Number three, people will get confused with the directions if we use too many words. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, hold on, I need to check something. Fernando, tell me, people will get confused with the directions if we use too many words. Uh, I think it's true. Oh. Okay. Make it, it simple. Okay, keep it simple. I'll keep it simple. Thank you. Fausto, number four. To avoid misunderstanding, one should be very clear in time frames, true or false. Uh, it is true. It is true, right? Because if we don't want a problem, we need to be clear. Yes. Okay. Like you have two hours to do this activity and you have to do it, period. Excellent, thank you. Number five, it is fine if the employees make a mistake. Later, we can show examples. Now let's see, Janira, tell me, is that true or false? I think so, it's false. Is, um, how do you say, al revés? The other way around. The other way around is, uh, I think so, is better uh, first show explain, and then the employees maybe, ha maybe make a mistake, but less mistake. Okay, perfect. Now, there is, there are, let's remember, let's see if we can remember there is and there are. Let's see, Carla, where's Carla? Carla Marielos. Number one, tell me if there is or there are. There is are. There or, okay, 
Are there any paper in the printer or is there any paper in the printer? In this case, Carla, are there we are talking about paper? Paper in the printer. The situation is this. In English, the word paper, in English, the palabra papel, it's uncountable. No es contable. Las páginas son contables. So in this case, is, is there any paper in the printer? Okay. And remember, in a question, any means alguna. Okay. Now let's see. Francisco Eduardo, number two. Is there or are there? Are there any computers? You see, this is plural. Este es plural. Perfect, mister. Are there any computers available? Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Marta Navelinda, number three. Are there, teacher? Are there enough personnel at your company? Okay, remember personal. When you say personal, you refer to a group. It's a group. Personal está hablando de un grupo, pero el grupo, la palabra que define un grupo, envuelve un grupo, es incontable. Las personas que forman el grupo son contables. Entonces, acá es: ah, okay. is, there, is, there... ¿Is there enough okay. personal at your company? Number okay. four. Rita, number four. Are there, teacher? Are there many conference rooms in your workplace? Perfect. Thank you, Rita. Okay, let's see. Walter, number five. Is there or are there? Are, are there, teacher? In number five, remember, Walter, that we are talking about light. Estamos hablando sobre la luz. Uncountable. Por fuerza vamos a usar is there. Is there much light in your workplace? Okay. Oh, okay. Please. Number six, Wilfredo. Is there or are there? Are there many things to do every day? Are there many things to do every day? Perfect. Plural, you see? There's an S here, talking about the plural. And number seven, number seven goes to, let's see, Elvia. Are there? Elvia. Are there good places to have a break? Perfect, excellent. Now, we have here, unscramble the words to create sentence. Let's see, Janira, number one is yours. Okay. Dictate to me, please. Informal clothes are not a lower to wear. Informal clothes, oops, clothes are, are not, not allowed, allowed to wear. Okay. Informal clothes are not allowed to wear. Uh, no, not really, Perfect. because I is a you wear. And then is you are not allowed. Aha. So it goes like you are, you not, are not allowed, allowed to wear informal clothes. Perfect. That sounds better, no? You yes. are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Remember, I, to be I can allowed see is, the word you. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't see. No podía. I couldn't see. Okay. 
Number two, Roxana. Smoke are not allowed to employees. Hmm. Oh, um, employees, employees are not uh -huh, employees are not allowed to smoke. Oh, employees are not not allowed allowed to smoke. smoke. That sounds better. I see no suena mejorcito. Thank you. Now let's see, let's see, let's see who's got number three. ¿Quién es el afortunado con number three? Mr. Carlos Murillo. Okay, maybe it, it, is, it is not allowed. Children, no. Uh, bring. Is. Aquí falta una palabra. It is not allowed to bring children. To bring children in. It is not allowed to bring children in. Okay. Okay. Number four. Uh, Amber. Okay. We are we are not allowed um extend lunch time. Oh no. Yeah. We are not allowed to extend our lunch time. Ah. Our, our, our not lunch our time. Lunch time. Sí. We are not allowed to extend our lunch time. Perfect. And let's see. Mm -hmm. Sylvia. Okay. I give you an idea. Okay. People, <laughs> people are not allowed to check in late. Perfect. Excellent, guys. Very, very, very well done. Easy, no? This is our review. Remember that all this we have already done. Yeah, it's no, it was not that easy, but I mean, you are getting the, the idea, okay? Now, let me just get something ready. So let me make the side list. Because I have to, before we finish, tengo que antes de terminar. Okay, guys, goes like this. Uh, I am supposed to show you, and this won't take a lot. Esto no va a tomar mucho, solo necesito mostrar cosas. Okay, let's see the midterm exam. The midterm exam says, in the part number one, in part number one, you have to choose the sequence words that best suits the sentence. If you want to pass your exams, you must study very hard First, next, then, finally, you will click which one is the correct, okay? David woke up late and you will see which is the correct. First, next, then, finally, if you think it's this, you click it. If you think it's this, you click it, okay? Michael finished the project last week. Now, which one is it? The correct one. You choose and you click. In this case, you select the best expression to complete the sentence. In this case, it's a whole expression. What you need, what my friend did, what I would do, what I'm saying is, 
you remember these expressions, right? We were practicing them a lot. In part number two, you use imperatives to give an order, to give instructions, or to make invitations. Select the right one for each order. The oil label, el nivel de aceite. Fill in, label, read, verify, or unplug. You choose the correct one and hit on it. Number two, discharge and check every piece. You will, you will choose the correct one and then you will go, uh, you submit and then you go next, right? Part number three. In part number three, in this case, this exercise, what you're going to do, there are a store, the city is. Just that, you just write the word. There is one office in San Miguel. There is one, you just write the word that is correct. Solamente escriben la palabra que está corregida. And here, to ask plural questions, we use, you choose, so a singular question, this is piece of cake. And then the last exercise. You, the instructions, read the sentences and complete them using the proper form of not allowed. We've been working on this right now. Okay. Please guys, if you have not finished it, I will stop the class right now. Si no lo han terminado, les voy a parar la clase ahorita. Let's do it. Please hurry up. Yo voy a estar hasta medianoche actualizando esto. Before we leave, I need one final attendance, please. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gómez. Present teacher. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Subrián. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Pausa Antonio Lindaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Absent. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Have a good weekend. Thank you very much. Don't forget the, the, the evaluation. No olviden la evaluation. Que cambiar también. Also. Okay. See you Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Be good. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. See you Monday. Good evening. See you Monday. Hello, Janita. How are you? Activate your microphone. Are you not talking to me? I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> the, the problem is that I have to monitor and mm -hmm. I, I take notes in this and I use the yeah. cam in this and then I forget to see this monitor. I'm sorry, teacher. Yeah, no, no problem, no problem. So let's see, Shanira, before you tell me if there's a topic or something that you need, uh, I have noticed something in you. You got a, actually a good level of English. And the good thing is that you are not afraid of speaking. That's even better. Uh, I gather, uh, as far as I can listen, that you were studying English for a couple of years, right? Yeah. Okay. And 
but I also see that you struggle a little bit with uh, tenses, verb tenses. Yes, I have problem with this. I forget to use the correct tenses. If you can see, I always use in basic form the verb. I forget the future, the, in the future and the past. I know the verb, but I don't know why I forget. Yeah, the problem is that right now you got used to, too used to be speaking in present. And we need to work with past and with future at least. And I will be sending you uh, some exercises for you to do, okay? Okay. Where, where you can focus on specifically on those grammar, because in your case it's grammar. It's not a matter of vocabulary. You have a lot of vocabulary. You know the verbs, but you yes, don't use I know. them. Yes, I, um, I begin to see a series in Netflix in, in English with subtitle. You give me an advice and I try. It's difficult, but I try. And I begin to read a book too. Okay. For and I, I will be sending you those, those little exercises, okay? Okay. Because you really need to get into it. And the problem is this, Janila. You are doing good for the level. But I would like to to push you to make the jump to the other level, okay? Because with the with the amount of vocabulary you have, and the confidence you get when speaking, y la seguridad que siente de, de hablar. Even if you make a mistake, you speak. That's that's what really matters. You I I, I get that. I get this when I travel because I'm forced to, to speak and then I, I, I lose the, the fear after, after or before, yeah, before, 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 before I, 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 I'm scared to speak in, and I'm very quiet. But when I travel, I need to speak because it's the only way. And then I lost the fear. You are you are not afraid anymore. Yes. Yeah, but as I tell you, in this case, we are going to work with that. And tell me, how much time do you have on a regular day? Do you can you spare like five to ten minutes every day? Uh, maybe yes, yes. Puede apartar de cinco diez minutos max. I mean, I don't want you working more than ten minutes. No me gustaría si if we do some extra exercises, I wouldn't like you to work in them more than 10 minutes. No me gustaría que trabajase en ellos más de 10 minutos. Okay. okay. Because, I mean, you got your job, tienes su trabajo, you got your, your personal life, right? Tienes su, su vida. But, but I, um, I, con, I confess yeah. that, I, that I like um, for, I spend time for, or take uh, my cell phone and learn another languages. I try by myself, uh, try to learn uh, Germany, German, German, uh, Italy, Italian, Italian, Portuguese, and a little French. I try. For me, it's okay. It's good. It's um. It's funny. Yeah, it is. It is. I enjoy it. Now, now I will give you an advice. Le voy a dar un consejo. Okay. And I and I'm not saying that you stop all altogether. No estoy diciendo deje completamente eso. If you learn one one more language, a second language, si usted maneja un segundo idioma, and you and you have a good command of that language, tiene un buen dominio de ese lenguaje, then it's going to be easier for you to get a third, a fourth. Cuando ya tenemos un segundo y lo manejamos bien, manejar un tercero o un cuarto se vuelve fast. Okay. Okay. So in this case, I'm not saying because English is more important. It's because you are more ahead on it. Es porque ya va más adelantada en eso. 
focus a little bit more in English for like four to five months. And you will see that then if you try to start learning another language, it will be faster. Okay. It's because you're, I mean, when you teach your brain to, to think in two different language, languages, to teach the same brain to think in another language, in a third and a fourth, it's easier. Ya le enseñamos nuestro cerebro a pensar en dos idiomas, se le vuelve más fácil pensar en un tercero, en un cuarto, en un quinto. Believe me, and that's science. Y eso es ciencia, créanme. <laughs> yes, I, I, I believe you. Okay, so what I will recommend you is this. I'm not saying leave them all up together outside, but focus a little bit more in English because it's the one that you got. I mean, you are ahead of me. And it can be más adelantado, so. Yes, of course. It's going to be easier. Uh, I'll be working on something else to send you. Voy a estar trabajando en qué cositas más que enviar. So you can uh, practice and improve a little bit more because I would really, really, really love to push you a little bit more. Okay. Sí, me gustaría empujar un poquito más. You got the, the right aptitude and I think you can give me more. I creo que me puede dar más. Okay. Okay, teacher. And, and I am the type of person that if, if you are in this level, but if I feel that you can get to the other level, I will push you. Yo lo voy a empujar. Okay, okay teacher. Okay. Because I, I mean, it's a waste of time if we don't we don't take advantage of, of your ability, and that's what I want to do to 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 spoil our durability. Okay. Okay, teacher. Do thank you, you do you agree? Yes, okay. I mean I agree, of course, of course. Okay, then that's what we are going to do. Thank you very much for staying, but I needed to talk to you about this. Okay, teacher. Is I, there is there any question? Any doubt? Uh, no, I only uh, wait for your, uh, you send me a, a exercise. Yeah, I will, don't worry. Okay. Don't and, worry, don't worry. And don't thank worry. you, I, I'm very, uh, I see, I forget. Grateful, grateful. Grateful, yes, I'm very grateful, teacher. Thank don't you. worry, don't worry. I like to do it, it's my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Have a good night, Janina. Thank you, Take teacher. Care. You too. Bye, Bye. Thank you. Okay, and this was today's class. Let's just check that everything is correct before we finish it. We close it down. So we don't have any problem later. Perfect. We also need to check this out. Well, let's finish. See you Monday.